Welcome home, Raiders. Tonight, we have got, uh, actually, a lot of WoW things are cooking. Even the non-WoW things are still WoW things. Uh, all that and so much more as Convert to Raid presents the Battle.net News! And welcome to another fabulous show uh, <laughs> from the Battle Net News broadcast bunker in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today is what's the date? It's uh, June nineteenth, twenty eighteen, and it is now nine ten in the PM Central Time. And I have a cold. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that's why we were off last week, and that's why I sound like crud this week. Uh, but. We have got uh, we have got an amazing show, and thank you for joining us uh, uh, once again. My name is Pat Crane. Did I say that? I don't even know. Uh, and the players are here as well. Let's go to the guy from Lords of the Storm, a uh, show about uh, Heroes of the Storm. It's Gizmo. Pat, we have such a great show tonight. Just let me tell you how good it is. How, how good is it? It's good. Okay, it's good. It's good. All right, sweet. Uh, also, from uh, Lagging Balls, from uh, DBLTap.com, uh, from Battle.net Sports, our sports show for uh, for CTR, it's Thist. Hello, Thist. Hello, Patrick Crane. How are you? Oh, boy. Only my mom calls me Patrick. Oh, well, and, you called and me a like, player, so. And, <laughs> and, like, and like, you know, people I don't know that just have, like, my license, they call me Patrick. Oh, I don't know. We could change that today. Change my license? Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, <laughs> welcome, friends. Welcome, Twitch chat. Welcome to everybody uh, from around the uh, world of Warcraft and beyond. Uh, we do have a lot to talk about. And actually, uh, there's a lot of stuff happening uh, on the PTR right now on in World of Warcraft. There's a lot happening uh, as far as, uh, like... Outside media, there's like there's a book. I don't know. Like outside? Like yeah, like it's out. It's actually outside my house right now. Ugh. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. It's in. It's inside my phone because I'm doing the audio book. So that we'll talk about that. Well, there was a Q and A last week, and then there was a Dev Water Cooler. I mean, there's lots of different stuff happening for WoW uh, this week. Kind of, kind of fun. Kind of, and even and even like the hot stuff is mostly WoW stuff that's just been, you know, remade. <laughs> re, it's been reworked for hots, which is great. Hot I like stuff, it. yeah. <laughs> hot stuff, baby. Oh, I don't know. What the, I can't say anything. <laughs> so, uh, but before we get to all that, I just kind of want to uh, chat with you guys uh, real quick about about what's going on. And and uh, Gizmo, speaking of the hot stuff, um, yes. What what's going on in the Hots world? Uh, I mean, as far as as far as you're concerned, and playing and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Um. So I have the past couple weeks, past two weeks, um, done something that I swore I wasn't going to do until the performance based matchmaking came out. Oh. Uh, and that is, I have jumped into Hero League. Um. Because I've been streaming a lot, so I've been. I think the past two weeks I've gotten right around a hundred games, or a little over a hundred games in Hero oh. League. Just nice. been and is, and is it going well? It is. Uh, it started out very, very poorly. I was trying <laughs> to be a Hanzo main, and uh. it wasn't working at all. But uh, I'm, I'm slowly but surely climbing up the ranks. I have found uh, my carries, and the, there has been a lot of saltiness in voice comms, but not as much as I thought. It's, uh, but when it happens, oh boy, does it happen. I bet. I bet. Um, I'm trying to play the salty video, and of course, now my... There it is. All right. <laughs> Finally. I got the, the salty clam up there. All right. I'm going to jump out of that, though. Uh, so so it's, it's going okay. It seems to be uh, 
whatever. And we'll talk more about the chat stuff because I know that there's some some new stuff with that as well. Um, yes. Uh, Fist, how about Hi. you? What have you been up to? Because I know you play oh, yeah. multiple games. Yeah, I play some games, Pat. Yeah. I play some real good games. Yeah. I'm playing the Overwatch and it's real fun. Um, I'm I'm slowly sort of like morphing into, you know, when you sort of like get a hero in mystery heroes a lot enough to where you're like, hmm, this is fun. And like, it's not even that it's fun. It's just that you keep like doing well or you keep winning on this this hero that you get. And for me, it's been Torbjorn. And I haven't ever really given Torbjorn a lot of thought. So I've been trying to Torb it up lately and uh, it's been going really well. Um, banging turrets. Who Who would have thought? And, uh, of course, I've been playing lots of WoW. Um, yep. Last night, um, I also am listening to Before the Storm. Yeah. And last night, I tried to sort of, like, log into WoW and and go to where I was listening about, you oh. know? At the same time. Like, obviously, I, I can't go everywhere. Like, not Stormwind right. or anything. But, like, you know, if the setting would be in a particular spot, I would go there and just, like, you know, walk around on my character and listen. It was really cool and immersive, but I kept running into world PvP and a lot of people had to die. <laughs> that, that can happen. You know, you could do that on the, on the beta or on the PTR or whatever. You can create a character... Uh, at 110 or whatever, and and uh, if you wanted to check out the alliance side of things, mm -hmm. would I? I'm just saying, if you want to, <laughs> like know. me personally, or like, like you know, like you personally, because I know oh, that no. I know that you know you you bleed red. Oh, well, actually, sure every, so. everybody everybody does. <laughs> 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 but uh, you know, all the inside. Yes. Right. So. Uh, but yeah, you can do that. Uh, 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 another thing that you were doing, I think, <laughs> excuse me, uh, were, you were doing some, uh, old raids too, right? Oh yeah, totally. Um, last weekend I did Siege of Orgrimmar and what else was I doing? Uh, I know, I know you were doing Mythic Siege. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, we cleared that. That was fun. It's it's nice to go back and just sort of like wreak havoc on everything that yes. you know gave you a hard time back in the day. I would agree. I was also doing the same, which is why I kind of brought it up. Um, I think that this is the perfect time for people who are looking for stuff to do to go back through those old raids and get any mounts or or any gear that you need that you really want for transmog or mm -hmm. or any of that stuff. And and uh, you know it's just kind of fun. Uh, I did, uh, what did I do? I did, uh, Throne of Thunder in Miss of Pandaria. And I went back to Cataclysm and I did, uh, something there as well. I can't even remember now. <laughs> Great. That's how memorable it was. Uh, but I went back, I went back and I was, I was going through, oh, it was Firelands. So I went, oh, well, for Firelands? It's a great raid. Firelands is awesome. Especially yeah. now, because you can just one shot all the bosses. It's fine. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, and so I was, go I was going through the Firelands, and it's kind of weird because uh, Firelands. That's where basically where we started this show. This was seven years ago. Next week. Whoa! Wow. Seven years ago. Next week we started the show, and that's right around when Firelands came out. I think Firelands came out just after we started the show. Are we doing anything special next week to commemorate this? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Congratulations, aware. everyone. Yeah. Hey, we did it. Uh, no, uh, uh, I, I hadn't planned on anything special anyway. I'll bring donuts next week and I'll eat them myself because we're not. Sure. You know. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Because we're not in the same room together. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Right. How mean. Um, <laughs> so right. I was going through Firelands and I was thinking back to all the all those stupid bits that we used to do uh, when Coltrane was on the show, we did all these recorded bits and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and so I was going through firelands and, and just kind of remind, remembering Ryolith and, and uh, Alyss Resort and, and some of these, some of these other stupid bits. Cause that's how I remember these raids. Now, all of these, all of these <laughs> old raids, I'm like, all I can think about are all the stupid bits that we used to do that used to take forever to produce. <laughs> they would take, Anywhere from 20 to 40 hours for me Whoa. to produce this stuff. And they would have like 20 tracks of crap and all these sound effects and 
And, uh, you know, it was, it was, uh, intense. And I just don't have the time for that anymore. <laughs> That's too bad. Because well, I love those. Like, those are just, I, I remember listening like seven years ago, and I loved when you guys did bits sure. like that. Well, and it was, and it was a lot of fun, and, and it was, it was a good time. And, and I, I, I can still do some of that, but I mean, we would, we even found that we couldn't do it at the time because it just took, took so long to produce this stuff. And we would find that by the time that we got towards the end of the raid, we just have to sit, like lump everything together and go, okay, we're doing 10 bosses for our last production for this tier because the next <laughs> tier is dropping next week. So screw it. Um, and so I could still do, you know, maybe, maybe some bits here and there, but I'm, I can't do the, the full raids anymore. That's, that's kind of mm. impossible. Not when you're talking about 10 bosses. Oof. That's a lot of work. That's, that's substantial. Work. Yes. Uh, but anyway, so I was going through there and, and I was went through the Firelands first and that was a lot of fun and Major Domo and and I got to see uh I got to see uh uh what's his name? Last boss. What's it what? Lation. No, not Lation. <laughs> <Not Lashen. laughs> this is Firelands. So, oh Firelands. Ragnaros. Yeah, yeah Ragnaros. Yeah. So I got to see Rags with his sneakers. But of course he was already dead according to <laughs> everything because I just I hit him like three times and he was like all the way to zero. I was just <laughs> waiting for everything to play out. It was I never did that that fight on heroic to see his sneakers. You should do really? it. You should yeah. do it now. I mean, mm -hmm. why not? It's uh, like right now. Like no, not right now. Maybe okay. I mean Skype is very unreliable. We should, probably should it you know whatever. Uh, but that was it was but it was kind of cool to see him crawl out of the thing. And I've done it before uh, soloing, I think, last last uh, expansion. Um, but whatever. And and so I was just remembering all these things. Then I went to Lei Shen and I was on Lei Shen. I totally forgot some of the mechanics and I was on heroic or whatever. And and uh, I forgot about that wind mechanic from Lei Shen. Oh, yeah. Right off the side. God, that was the like. Right if it up. wasn't the lag, that was the only thing that got me. Because like, I'd be lagging out. Yeah. And then they they'd blow at you, and I'd I'd still be on the platform as far as I knew. But yeah. then you know, when the lag cleared up, I'd be on the ground dead. Right. right. That's Never, uh, Throne of Thunder, right? Lei Shen. Yeah. Yeah. That's Throne of Thunder. What was the boss's name that was after Lei Shen on heroic? Uh, Rod Den. Rod Den. Rod Den. So. Yeah. So, yeah, so I decided that instead of a top 10 list for this week, that we would go... Gotta get back in time! Yeah, we'd go back a little bit, and we'd, we'd, do, a little, we'd do a little, you know, podcast time walking, if you will, uh, and maybe, uh, maybe hit up one of these things, because I, I was just kind of in a nostalgic mood, all that kind of good stuff, and so, uh, so we will play uh, a little of our... <laughs> The dumbest Lation mashup uh, of the summer songs ever. Here we go. Hey, this is Johnny Flapjack, and you are listening to Azeroth Radio, 110 FM. Uh, and now we've got the hit that is sweeping the nation, the latest from the greatest, that is Lation, the Thunder King. Everybody get up. <laughs> and welcome to Lation's Dance Party of Death. <laughs> If you cannot hear, just look at all this lightning. If you cannot see, I am the Thunder King. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe I'll get my vengeance. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe I'll raise the gods. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe I'm out of my mind. <laughs> Come attack me here, and I'll electrify you. I am the bad guy, so it is in my nature. Hey, hey, hey. Just let me liberate hey, you. Hey, hey. From this mortal coil, I'll be your undoing, and that is why I am the bad guy. I know you want loot, I know you want loot, but you can't have it, I'm the bad guy. Can't let you get past me, you're far from plastic, but now I'll blast you till you see blurred lines. I know you want loot, I know you want loot. But you can't have it. I'm the bad guy. And now you fight me. Must want to get nasty. Go ahead. Get at me. <laughs> We're coming for you, Lei Shen, right now. We just need a little bit of luck. 
like the legend of the Lich King. All ends with new beginnings. What keeps Azeroth a spinning is all the loot we're winning. <laughs> We've come too far to give up on this boss. So let's raise the bar and bring all our mogul charms. We're up all night till the sun. I'm up all night to get some. We all know Raiden's good fun, so we just slash roll to get lucky. We're up all night till the sun. We're up all night to get some. We all know Raiden's good fun, so we all slash roll to get lucky. Let's 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 all slash roll to get lucky. Bad guy! I knew you want loot, but you can't have it. It's not the boss that we are facing. Hey, hey, hey. It's the loot we are embracing. Hey, hey, hey. My stats have yet to hit the ceiling. Hey, hey, hey. That's why I can't be leaving. Not me, not yet, no way. Ha! We've come too far to give up on this boss. So let's raise our deeps. And bring all our mogul charms. Hey, hey, hey. We're up all night till the sun. Hey, hey, hey. I'm up all night to get some hey, hey, hey. loot that is. Ha <laughs> ha! I just slash roll to get lucky. Hey, hey, hey. We're up all night till the sun. Hey, hey, hey. We're up all night to get some. Hey, hey, hey. We all know Raiden's good fun, so we all slash roll to get lucky. Hey, hey, hey. Let's all slash roll to get lucky. Hey, hey, hey. Let's all slash roll to get lucky. Hey, hey, hey. Let's all slash roll to get lucky. Let's all slash roll to get lucky. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bad guy. There we go. And that's it. That's the song. Oh, boy. Yay. <laughs> it's a dopey song. It's a dopey song. It's fine. That was wonderful, Pat. It was fun to make, and uh, and maybe we'll do another one. I don't know if you guys have a uh, good time walking uh, trip down memory lane. If you have a favorite boss or or a favorite bit that we did here on the show, uh, maybe we could play that next week for our seven year anniversary show. It's not Aww. actually going to be an anniversary show. We'll just do a show. Aww, <laughs> the show where we eat donuts. Yeah, we could all just get individual yeah, we'll donuts. Get individual donuts and then eat the why are we eating donuts? To celebrate seven years. <laughs> Is it the seven donut anniversary? Eight. No, I just I was the first thing I thought of, Pat. Okay. This is nothing to do. Like maybe I just wanted to eat donuts, okay? It's good. Jeez. Let's get not donuts are good. I like donuts. Who doesn't yeah. like donuts? Right? I don't know. Evil people, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That was great. There should be more bits on this show. And I think well, that you and Gizmo could do a great job doing that. Well, we'll uh, we'll have to uh, we'll talk about that after the show and and maybe we'll come up with some some ideas. Maybe you know, Gizmo has future, a lovely singing voice. For some f- no, I, future saying that. For some future songs <laughs> or raps. I know that I did a, a couple of raps uh and and not the sandwiches. <laughs> Not the sandwiches. Oh it was, God. it was uh, something else. And I'm trying to. I know that I did. Uh, well, I, I did a few. So I, I'm not even. Was gonna. it like a dramatic reading? You did like a few like monologues, and there's like some scenarios. Um, where oh, we, your we've done. Voice we've done a, handy. We've done a bunch of silly stuff on the show. <sighs> I just remember uh, Miss of Pandaria when that was in beta. Uh, we were. Everybody was really wanting for the monk to be available on beta. And so then I made this. We want the monk. Come on, Blizzard. Give up that monk. Oh. So that was, there was that. <laughs> so, you know, a bunch of stuff. So it's all good. All right. It's all gold. <laughs> it's all golden stuff. What can you do? <laughs> all right. Uh, well, I know, I know one thing we can do, and that is let's head to the news. And we will start, as we always do, with uh, World of Warcraft. A clever strategy. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. This cold. 
It's still bad. I don't know why. It, it's been a week. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's hot outside. It's hot outside. I have a cold, and yet I'm sweating. I don't know. <laughs> Wait. I don't know what? why it's called that. I don't know why anything is happening. Uh, but I sound do you have like a fever. <laughs> I do have I, I've I've got a Bieber fever. Uh, yes, I've got the we, I've got we, the, the Bieber fever. Yes, I got that one. We all know your affinity for Bieber. Yep, that's right. Unfortunately, well, he's Canadian. I think that's it. Oh, so you just like us Canadians? Then is that yeah, it? I guess so. All right, that's uh, why I'm here. God, <laughs> let's move on to what actually happened over the last uh, well, the last couple of weeks, really, but especially the last week because. Last week, Thursday, we had a Q&A with uh, Ian Hazakostas, and of course, hosted by uh, Josh Allen, a.k.a. Lore. Uh, and there were th- some good things that were talk- that they were talking about. Uh, and Thist, I know that you were watching it. Were, were there's, was there anything you particularly uh, saw that you liked that you, that you would like to discuss right now? Oh, who, me? Yes. Um, well, yeah, I mean... Um... Uh, oh, so it's confirmed now that we will see, or we could see, but we probably will, see more allied races in the future, but they aren't necessarily required for each expansion. So that just kind of, because like we're all just sort of like wondering like what new allied races are coming out. And of course, there's so many races to choose from in game already. And I wanted to know, like, if you guys could pick an allied race that already exists for either side what would it be? So, so an, a race that already exists that uh, we would like to see as an, as an allied race. Yes. Do you have any thoughts? <sighs> yes. Uh, Furbolg. Interesting. Furbolg. Furbolg. Okay. A little, little. I can't speak either. This is Apparently a weird this cold name, is really though. affecting me. Uh, Gizmo, how about you? What would you like to see? The, uh, the, the fox people. The, the Volpera? Uh, they are adorable <laughs> and but the problem is if they were going to be allied with anybody i think at least just from running through the beta i think that those guys would be an allied race of the horde yeah because they need cute things over on the horde they don't have <laughs> any they don't have any really cute things uh, are we not cute enough oh my god Mm-mm. uh who are you saying is we blood elves Ugh. yeah we're adorable <laughs> we're adorable you're Have not you seen a, our ears you're, droop you're, you're, it's cute it's, it's it's cute it's cute if you Volpira slash cry our ears go like volpira are you know, adorable I, 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 I don't know about blood elves they've been around a long time <laughs> in the in the game oh right? so no we're not cute and we're old thanks pat you're just kind of scraggly these Great. Days. <laughs> Great. how about you no, what, what what one would you want to see um i'm Ooh. what about those cat centaurs you know those guys. Oh yeah, where the, they're like half cat, half man cat. The guys from uh, 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 all them. Yeah, yeah. all them. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those guys. Yeah. Are cool. They're so meta. It's like Murlocs. Cat, everybody in everybody saying Murlocs in the in the chat room. So, like, what would the repercussion be of like the Murlocs sort of like choosing a side? You know, because they're so integrated in like both cultures. You know, right. they really. Are. I think that would be weird. Grown faction oh. oh their own faction it have to be their interesting own. There, there are so many murlocs out there that's true there are if they all decided to you know come up and take over they could absolutely especially after remember a few years ago there was save the murlocs initiative like that really brought them back from the brink of extinction i yeah. think mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that's actually true i don't think that is I think it's true. I think it's accurate. You go see Murloc in the middle of the road. You get off your horse or your bike, whatever you're taking, and you gently move them to the side of the road. Yeah. All right. And try not to get speared right. in the face. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. They're so touchy. All right. It's relax. But what would be really cool is if they rode the cat men, like on their backs and stuff. Yeah. Like a Murloc riding a cat centaur. That would be great. Double Double cat centaur. Double cat centaur. Have you ever considered that though? It's like a cat's body, but the the man part is like also a cat. It's just. It's like a cat with six legs. Yeah. And a chest. Yeah, a man chest. Like, have you ever <laughs> thought about that? That blows my mind. 
Anyway, sorry. Let's get back to the got, Q&A. Got lost, <laughs> got lost there for a second. Let's let's find ourselves again. Uh, another, cat. another interesting thing that came from the Q&A was talking about um, the different specs out there for for uh, BFA, for or Bazaroth, or Battle for... What do you think? Bazaroth? Ba- Bazaroth? I like Bazaroth. Bazaroth, that sounds good. I think we need to come up with a solution to that to that uh, acronym. BFA just sounds a little dry. I, I did really like Buffa. Like what? Buffa? Buffa, Buffa is Buffa? good. Buffa? Buffa is, yeah, yeah. Uh, so for Buffa, at least on the uh, beta now, they've said, you know what? No more major changes to spells and stuff like that. There will, will be balancing, of course, which could throw things off and, and all that kind of stuff. But there will not be any more major uh, changes to the specs that are out there. Uh, sorry, Shaman. I think that's oh. I think that's what Ian said next. Uh, you know he means a shaman, but um, yeah, it's just it's getting way too close now, and they can't like start anything big. Like they can't make any major changes right now, so uh, everything is just going to have to be like uh, implemented during like basic balance and like tuning changes after launch. Right. So I mean that happens every single time though. Like that's that's not news, you know. Yeah, it's it's going to be like it's going to suck for a while. Like. When Mist Drop and Frost Mage was completely broken, mm-hmm. that sucked for a while, but they fixed it. It's fine. Well, and it seems like that this happens every expansion, like you were saying. And and uh, I was trying to, uh, I was talking to people in the guild about it, and and I said, you know, it seems like, it seems to me, I remember hearing this complaint from Shaman from a long time ago, from from the ICC days, from the Cataclysm days, uh, maybe going into mists, maybe not. I can't remember exactly how it worked out. I think Shaman were actually okay in mists, uh, but starting out anyway, that it seemed like Shaman were a little bit uh, behind the mark. Yeah. So. I don't and, know. It just now they are again apparently. So. It's unfortunate, and just like it, it just seems to happen after every, like not after every single expansion, but like after every major change. Like there's at least one class who you know just needs a little bit of extra attention, and you know Blitz always follows through. You know, right. and it's it's upsetting so, well, for like a few days, and then you're fine. It's, and, and it could um, work itself out in the balancing uh, portion of this because, like I said, they are still going to be balancing everything out and and uh, really trying to make sure that they're. Uh, their power level is uh, in the in the realm, so we'll we'll see exactly what happens. I guess as as we get closer to uh, to August twenty fourth, fourteenth, fourteenth. Sorry, I don't know why I said twenty fourth. Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd be ten days behind. I don't need yeah. that. I got to gear up. Yeah. Could you imagine you just like somehow like bypass all the hype and you're just like, oh man, I sure can't wait for the expansions. Like, Pat, it's been out for like 10 days. Where have you been? Right. right. Like, I still be like, have a cold. Now, I, yeah, exactly. Now I got to <laughs> stay up for a week straight and I still have this stupid cold. Uh, yeah, that would be, that would be uh, pretty bad. Um, uh, there was another thing that I was going to bring up. Oh, you were talking about how there was no, um, I also want to bring up utility for for the different classes because uh, there was talk about class buffs. Like all these class buffs were going to come back and they said, all right, all these class buffs, they're coming back. And then they started pairing some of them back a little bit. And now I think it's just a, a few that have some class buffs or something like that, have have raid buffs. Yeah. Uh, and, and that was because uh, they wanted to make sure to... to that people wanted to include them <laughs> for their utility to the raid. Yeah, is, is that the way that it was worded there? It's something like that. Yeah, um, but they they gave a great example. Uh, they're just sort of like it's. I think they they got rid of like the class buffs in the first place because it was kind of overkill in a lot of senses. And and I don't know. I personally like when you get used to having a buff. Like if if you're if you were a mage, you know, like you can make your mana buns, but then you can also like you know use your your buff and you feel useful and needed, and everybody wants you, and they're like, oh, we need a mage, and it feels good. They just want you for your mana buns. Mm -hmm. Well, I know I'm used to that, obviously. Right. But uh, I can't make people any smarter anymore. But um, but they use the uh, the druid as sort of like uh, like an example. Druids have great utility, 
and like they didn't they thought that like mark of the wild on top of everything seemed excessive and like i i tend to agree with that like there are some classes who have a lot more going for them and who will always be uh you know for long standing reasons really valuable in a raid situation and i don't know like they maybe like the these buffs like would be better like distributed not evenly but just to those who like would benefit from having something that made their class special or even more special so that they get invited to do things more often. Yeah. But doesn't that make it to where raid teams now have to have these positions on their team? Not necessarily because yeah. the, the utility that they bring is not going to, nece- well, I'm, I'm sure that there's debate on this when, especially when it comes to mythic raiders for mythic raiders, I'm not going to say anything because I, I'm not going to theory craft that for them. They will decide not on do that own. right now. They will decide on their own whether the, whether those buffs are going to uh, make or break their team. I think for everybody else, it's going to be okay. You know, it, it's going to be bring your friends. Whatever they're playing is probably okay. You know, if, unless you're uh, pushing uh, content. You know, really, I don't. I don't think it's going to matter too much. And for LFG, and of course for yeah. LFG, you need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just it's you need it for lfg you need it for for all that stuff so you know lfr you need that uh that's what i mean yeah they're they're gonna have to they're gonna have to bring that into uh, lfr for sure uh let's see what else um they they did talk about cross rail mythic rating for those guys that do mythic rating uh and want to do cross realm mythic rating which i think especially as we get into a uh, uh, tier, you know, further and further down the line, everybody kind of wants to jump into those groups and see what's, see what it's all about. And uh, cross realm is the way to go, uh, oh, for, yes. especially for pugging that stuff. So uh, they have implemented a new system for the mythic rating for unlocking cross realm mythic rating, which is cool. <laughs> uh, so they're doing, what is it? A top 100 on both sides yeah. on the Alliance and the, and the horde. It's called the hall of fame achievement. Yeah. So that was so cool. Yeah. And I had heard about the hall of fame achievement, but I was just thinking, uh, it's just going to be a thing, whatever, yeah. you know, but now mm-hmm. it's actually a thing that, that will, uh, that means something. So as soon as all of the hall of famers are, 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 are put out on the scoreboard, you know, the top 100 Alliance, the top 100 horde, uh, as soon as you have both of those, then it unlocks for everybody. Uh, I, uh, I wish that I had a mythic rating team because I would really love to be a part of that, especially with like the board, like on, on the website, it's going to be there and everybody's going to be like, thanks everybody. Now we've got this unlocked. Thanks to you guys. And I'll be like, no problem. You know, <laughs> you're welcome. No yeah, problem. You are welcome. <laughs> yeah. And mythic rating, it, it, that is, that is some tough stuff. That is some intense rating action. So if you are up for the challenge, uh, that's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. So, so there. Uh, was there anything else as far as uh, as far as what you uh, heard? I mean, there was a lot of stuff that was said on the Q and A. Absolutely. Um, oh, as usual, we will yeah. be able to unlo- unlock flying later yeah. in Bifa. Yep. And you know, I'm a fan of that. Like, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to everybody just sort of having to be on the ground and appreciate everything that the WoW team has been working on. Um, but it's, it's good that like, <laughs> it, it's good. And it also sucks that like the, the devs have to sort of like preface expansions with like, yes, you will be able to fly later relax you know and it because just because of like what happened with what i guess but yeah well that was that was a cluster you know yeah that was a cluster of fun (laughs) you should do a hall of flame for the flying achievement to where you know 100 people on each or each faction unlock that achievement for flying everybody gets flying no way i go to those message boards and be like thank you so and so and so and so (laughs) otherwise i myself no I don't think so. I don't. Maybe they could do that for Wad. Maybe like people could go and and do something with Wad, and then like everybody who doesn't have flying still, because I know a lot of people who don't, uh, would get flying in Draenor. I don't have flying in the last two expansions. What? I don't have flying in Warlords. I was. I know that. I'm always carrying your 
those those jumping puzzles. I don't want to do them. I just didn't want to <laughs> didn't want to do those things. Oh gosh, uh, those treasures. Ugh. Go back and do them with the demon hunter. Oh yeah, go back with the demon that's hunter and do them. Good, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good idea. If I mm-hmm. wanted, okay. if I wanted to go back to warlords though. If you guys it's, never need a ride somewhere, you just let me know, okay? It's still too soon, I think, <laughs> to go back to Warlords and be like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, I don't Maybe know. in 10 years. Yeah, yeah. It, maybe whenever the vanilla server catches back up to Warlords. Maybe. Oh. Well, that's not, that's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> like another 15 years or something yeah. like that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Cool? I'll fly in 15 years. Portal down. Put the... the the beta construction signs, uh, cool things incoming or whatever they put there. Just put that in front of the portal. Turn warlords off. Sure, sure. That sounds that sounds appropriate. So, uh, uh, a couple of other things, uh, just real quick. There will uh, so artifact the, you know, the artifacts you have for your for your particular specs will remain transmog for your spec only. They will not be for the entire class, so uh, just be ready for that or anything else. It'll just be for that spec because there were special rules in place for all that stuff, and they want they wanted to feel special. Still, I'm ready. I feel special. And especially when it comes to druids, you know, you have the feral and and the and the uh, uh, bear stuff going on. If you transmogged into that as uh, I don't even know, let's say a death knight. That would be weird, seeing a Death Knight bear walking around. That'd be crazy. Death Knight, a Death Knight, uh, the uh, the uh, glowing red uh, bear. That'd be that'd be awesome. Oh. That'd be awesome. So it would be. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, the other thing is that uh, Heart of Azeroth will have a catch up mechanic that's associated with it. It'll be kind of it'll be kind of the inverse of what happened with Artifact Power. So with artifact with artifact power, uh, you know, you started off and it was like a hundred artifact power, and you could get your first little uh, medallion on on your weapon, and then right. and then to get the last, you know, few, it's been seventeen trillion. No, it's not. They're not. They're not going to do it like that. Yeah, thank goodness. Although it is pretty cool to have like a trillion of something. I don't it's know. a novelty. I don't it's know. a novelty. I d- I'm not going to miss it. I don't know. So uh, instead, they're going to do it the other way. They're going to say, okay, well, let's try it this way, where we just reduce the amount of uh, AP, which now stands for, uh, what does it stand for? Stands a- for <laughs> stands for Heart of Azeroth Power or whatever the hell. Azerite Power. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah Azerite. Um, and so they'll just lessen that as we go through. So it'll be me make it'll be more reasonable to look at <laughs> i'm surprised that blizz didn't learn from all of its stat squishes and, and it, it, we're doing a stat squish again for for uh bifa or buffa uh <laughs> and uh uh so i'm surprised that they didn't realize from all the stat squishes that big numbers were probably a problem for people i mean mm. they are but like i got totally used to it you know That's ian what? kept calling them inelegant and I think that's a really great word for it. Yeah. It just it it doesn't look right, you know. It at sure. first it was really impressive and cool, but then it was just like, all right, how much higher can this go? I don't even I don't even know math to begin with. Like this isn't helping me at all. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, and the other thing sure. that Ian actually said was that, hey, you you guys wanted uh, to see uh, Bifa, or actually the pre patch to hit the PTR, the eight point pre patch expansion pre-patch to hit the PTR. So let's just put it up on the PTR. And so they put it up on the PTR while they were having the Q&A on Thursday. And for that, we have to say thank you. It's great. And so right away, as it released, you could do nothing on the PTR. There wasn't anything available until like the next day. And then there was something available. And that was... um, not really a spoiler, but it's how we're going to lose our uh, our our AP on our artifacts. So, um, <sighs> yeah. Although, to be fair, there wasn't really any story with it. 
necessarily because mm -hmm. and I'm I'm going to play the video that I captured from uh from in game uh earlier today so if you want to go to the video you can check it out you can see exactly what plays out and and the interesting part is that there is uh stuff playing and Magni is talking to you and you're reacting to things but you don't know what's being said <laughs> because oh. they, they don't have that in game they don't have that part in game yet it's just uh it's just the action of doing the things doing all the things so i'm gonna bail on that we should do a voiceover <laughs> do a fake voiceover for <laughs> hi not? i'm magni i'm made out of diamonds i am sparkle, the diamond sparkle. dwarf yeah <laughs> And then uh, I'm not yeah. actually diamond. I'm cubic zirconia. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cheap. Don't ne tell anyone. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't tell Azeroth. I've been <laughs> I've been secretly telling her that I'm a diamond, so she'll like me more. <laughs> uh, that'd, be that'd be great. Uh, so, th but, but the pre patch is now up on PTR, which means I think. Uh, we can all say that uh, it's looking like in the next couple few weeks. Couple few weeks could be. Uh, I, I could, be so. could be coming to live. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. like that. I like that. I like it too. Yep. Good. Uh, Gizmo, are you ready for eight uh, point uh, Yes and no, Fat. <laughs> I still can't decide what I'm playing, and I need to decide quick. I well, know, like I. I've talked about it a lot, so my decisions, and I just, I, I need to make one. Well, you know, the, the class uh, changes are over with, so now's a perfect time to jump on uh, beta or on the PTR and go check it out and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So Do it. So, yeah. I have too much freedom, this expansion. So. Do you want me to just tell you what to do? Would that be easier? Yes. Tell me what role I need to fill. Um... I don't know. I mean, if you wanted to raid with my team. That's no hell. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, no, no. If I wanted to raid with your team, what do you need? Um, I think some of my healers are looking to be DPS this time around. So okay. Good. Bam. Done. Thank you. All right. Heal me. There we go. Pocket okay. heal me. Only me. There we go. Now you're now you're all good to go. Awesome. Pat, okay. you can yeah. heal too. And uh, I You'll will make it my business. You'll let me heal this time? Yeah, uh. I, I will stand in everything. Awesome. And if I have two pocket heals, I will never die. <laughs> so you think. It, no, it, this makes sense. It it's happens. like math. It happens. Uh, some other things that I wanted to uh, talk about with WoW, especially. Um, we have a, a couple of, of different things. And I'm going to go with this first. Um, last week, we also saw the, uh, the preview of the Battle for Azeroth theme music. And this is the first music that we that we've had uh, new from World of Warcraft specifically, uh, without Russell Brower at the helm. So uh, it sounds very different. Mm -hmm. And I think if, I, I think if Russell were there, you know how every other expansion theme for the last gosh I don't know how many how many expansions uh, we've always had that really heavy drum thing at the beginning, and it's. You know, horns and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> this one starts off very uh, kind of mellow and, mm -hmm. and, it does. and graceful and goes into like jaunty, uh, uh, I don't know, sailor music. Know. A little bit, yeah. So I, I feel like maybe that's like sort of like a Colteras kind of vibe or something. I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah. But you're right. It's, it's, it's less Orgamar and more Mulgore, if you will. Yeah, is that like good? It's just, and I, I saw the comments. Like a lot of people uh, didn't really like the the way that that the the title music would come in really really hard and fast. And like I I get that because like sometimes you would forget to turn down your volume and then you'd start up WoW and it'd be like dur, 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 and you're like oh yeah. Um, but I always really liked that though because you know it it fired me up. But I can see how some people wouldn't like it. Sure. So sure. this is a little more level, a little more steady. And and uh, I, yes, I would I would totally agree with that. Um, I I don't know that I necessarily. Uh, I'm trying to think of where I would put it as far as like the the different themes that I've heard from the different expansions. 
It's not my favorite, but it's it's nice. It's nice. It's good. It's good. It's uh, really nice. Gizmo, did you listen to it? Uh, I have not through the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, it 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 definitely is different, and I actually need to go back and listen to the different theme songs for each expansion because I can't even remember. All I know is that every time that I every, every time that I play it for a stream or whatever, people freak the freak the f out because uh, what ends up happening is you play the music and and somebody's just like hanging out on the stream before the stream is starting, and then you play that music, poof, and they just everybody just goes nuts and they're like, oh, I, mm-hmm. I just uh, just felt yeah. like I needed to push you know enter game, so yeah, and it's like. I love going to BlizzCon and like they have that music like pumping through like the big giant speakers like all day and you can you can feel it and you can hear it and like I I think that you know this this song in particular won't have the same um I don't know excitement attached to it like the others did but I don't know that's good and like yeah. the the one for Mists wasn't particularly bombastic either you know it was just sort of like pretty and you know, that was a totally different expansion, though. So it, yeah, it, it, completely made, it different. made sense. Yeah. And, and I think that this one's going to be a little bit different as well. So yeah. we'll we'll see what ends up happening. And and they they really did kind of as they as they um, kind of continually do with the with the title themes is they will try to bring in all of the themes from the different places that we're going to go visit. Um, yeah. And so you got a little bit of the blood troll. By the way, blood troll not going to be an allied race. They Mm-mm. clarified that in the Q- Q&A. But they didn't say anything about Medicats. Nope, they did not. Uh, so, but you you go and visit the Blood Troll area. You go and visit uh, the the Boralus uh, area. And, you know, it's all, it, all those different points in between the pirates and the Volpira and the... Yeah. Who knows? So... Did you see the, uh, the new login screen drop this afternoon? I did not. I did not see that. What does it look like? It's- it's like um, there's like an alliance helmet and a horde helmet laying on the ground, and there's like two weapons, and then like there's a horde banner over there and an alliance banner over there, and the, like there's like a wall. It might be outside of the ruins of Lordran, I'm not sure, but it's it's really understated, and I love it. It's just it's 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 kind of simple compared to like all of the rest of them, in my opinion. But like that makes it kind of ominous and kind of freaks me out in a good way. In a good way, yeah, I right. like it. Oh, I see it now. It's kind of yeah, it's it makes kind me of, feel things. It's kind of like they're. It, it's kind of like they've died on the hill, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's a it's a little bit like the alliance and the horde. A uh, couple of soldiers died on a hill. It's kind of what it yeah. looks like to me. So, in the middle of this battle, probably for uh, maybe for Lordaeron. Maybe. Maybe. We'll um, see. It just it looks cool. Yeah, no, it does. It looks really cool. So, and the swords are sticking out of the ground, and it's 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 pretty neat. I like it. Good. Uh, what else? Let's see. Um. Uh oh, and uh, it was re- it was revealed. Was it last week that Battle for Azeroth was going to have one single launch time around the world? Uh, I think it was the week before that, but okay. yes. Okay. So this is completely new. It's never been done before, um, but it, it will be launched around the world at the same time. So everybody will get it at the same time as everyone else. And I think this is amazing. Like it's completely unprecedented and, you know, it's, it's going to make for like some weird times when people have to be awake across the world, obviously, but you know, worth, we're all taking time off work. And this means that you can play and experience things at the same pace as your friends, unless your friends are the type who just like blow through all the new content and then like hit max level. And then are like, Hey, did you see this thing that you obviously haven't seen yet? Yeah, I'm going to link it. No, ruin it for you. I hate right. those guys. Right. Don't be like that. Right. So other than those guys, everybody's <laughs> going to be on even footing for the thing. I, yeah, go ahead. Giz. I, I am very intrigued by it. Uh, I'm worried that, I mean, if there's, you know, issues on rollout, now they have issues everywhere instead of being able to fix it on one side. <laughs> right. And, you know, try and get it better for the next release. Um, and then as well, like, it's it's fine for me because, like, I, I can just log in when it goes live. But for the people that have to get up at weird hours or whatever, 
for people that aren't taking time off work. Uh, I'm intrigued to kind of know what their opinions are because do they feel pressured to say they can't get off work, but do they feel pressured now to wake up as, you know, early in the morning, uh, right when it launches so that they don't fall behind from the raid team or all sorts of stuff. Uh, overall, I think it's good if they could pull it off. Yeah. But as this said, it's kind of unprecedented for uh, that to happen uh, yeah. worldwide. Pullout, and, so. and I do remember, uh, was it with Legion? If not with Legion, definitely with Warlords. There was a problem with uh, with launch. And yes. it was a big problem, too. It was like problems all over the place. And they fixed it up before they, before they released in other parts of the world, which is nice for them. Uh, but, but, but for the initial launch, it was kind of screwy. And, it was, and so I'm guessing that if they had that happen with everybody around the world, stay off the forums. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it was but now, instead of one angry region, you have an angry planet. Sure, but <laughs> Legion went off without a hitch. It almost seemed like something was wrong because it it just it just happened. It, there was the expansion, and yeah. that was the smoothest expansion. Like I couldn't believe it. Actually, I thought there was something wrong with my computer or something, right. and I was like, "Where's where's the expansion? I'm not like being kicked off. I I got into the game. Like, what's right. happening? Like, everybody I know There's, is online right now. All of a sudden, there was there a quest appeared. And yeah, it was there like, was. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Perfect. So, like, the WoW team obviously has that down, and they definitely would not even attempt something like this if they couldn't pull it off. So I like I have no doubts in my mind that this is going to be great and it's going to be you know, a massive achievement and it's going to be freaking cool. Awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, then maybe we should talk about something that, need, that needs a lot of work. And that, and that is WoW Classic. <laughs> we had uh, we had a, a developer a developer water cooler article on all of the WoW Classic stuff that's happening kind of behind the scenes. They are now into, uh, they are beyond phase one. Let's just put it that way. I don't know exactly how far along they are, um, but they made uh, they made the first part work. They found out which build to do. It's the build with all the raids. It's 1.12 or whatever. I don't know what the number is, but it's the one, it's the one that they deemed worthy, which is cool. That's fine. Yeah, because they had like two years worth of classic vanilla WoW to sort of like choose right. from because mm -hmm. not, not everything that people assume is going to be in the game was present those full two years so they right. kind of had to figure that out right and now it's about how to engineer it how to back backwards engineer it onto modern systems yeah so, that and, that article was really hard for me to understand like i was right. furrowing my brow like some kind of neanderthal like sitting in a cave somewhere yep it's it was a good read but it's, essentially what it is is they've changed everything over the years as they should do and update mm -hmm. their systems and all that kind of stuff. And, but if they want it to be on the launcher, if they want it to work with modern com computers and modern, you know, everything else and, and not screw everything else up along the way, guess what? They need to uh, kind of reverse engineer it. So, so that it works. And that, that's, what a, that's where they are. Right. That must be so weird. You know, like all these years they've been progressing and like evolving the game and like making everything new and better. And now they're having to go back in time eh? and like sort of like MacGyver this onto like like a new a new plane and it's just I don't know like I wonder if it's fun or interesting or if it's frustrating like I can't I can't I have no idea did you did you just say I'm gonna get back in time uh, so, I did I was really hoping that you'd play uh, that thank well, you there we go uh, <laughs> so yeah, we do. We, I mean, it's, it's kind of an interesting time. So, uh, so we'll see. I don't, I don't know. They didn't put a, a timeline on this or anything. No, not they're, at all. They're not going to. No, they shouldn't have to. Like no. this was not their idea. This, this was other people's ideas. Right. And, uh, you know, Blizz, Blizz always gives you what you want, you know, eventually. And, this is them just doing that, and I think it's good that that they're taking their time with it and just you know because like this isn't something they had planned. Like this is something that was born of a lot of people screaming about for a while and like going to great lengths uh, to pirate and to steal and to things like that. So 
I don't know. I think that they should take as long as they want. And I don't think that anybody who was stealing or playing on those servers or, you know, harassing Blizz on Facebook should not feel entitled to, you know, go Blizzard into giving them a release date because they're, they're getting what they want. You know, baby's getting their bottle. So just just wait. I'm sorry. I'm salty about this. Apparently, uh, Gizmo, are you are you psyched for classic? Or are you just kind of like, sure, I'll play it a little bit, maybe, but not planning on I'm, staying I, there. Yeah, I I expect to hop in and, and play a little bit of it and stuff. But I spent my time there uh, for probably as much as I needed to. <laughs> uh, it'll it'll be cool to go back and and check some of the stuff out. I think, but. It, who knows? Maybe I'll get back in and and love it, but I'll probably just want to stay on current stuff. Yeah, I I can't see that being a thing for me. I don't I don't need to. I mean, Baron's chat that would be nice mm-hmm. to see that once again. Try to find Man Creek's wife, you know that type <laughs> of stuff. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, but yeah, walking around until I'm level forty and then and then not having enough gold to yeah to buy anything. <laughs> that what sounds. 600 gold for your first mount, I think is what it was. Yeah, something like that. Yep. It was crazy. But, yeah. Or get on my hunter and go buy five bags full of ammo so that I can sit there and shoot things and miss until oh, I level man. up. Yeah. Oh, man. That's right. I forgot about ammo. Oh. A bow drop. So now I have to go and get arrows. arrows. So yep, can instead, shoot yeah. Yeah. You just, got, you just got to be an engineer and then you can make that stuff. Bad news, guys. We're in the middle of this dungeon, and I don't have any ammo left. Right. Don't worry, my pet can tank. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. So all of those fun things from uh, from Classic will uh, will be here soon. TM. Not not good really. enough. Not really. It'll <laughs> be soon enough. Yeah. Uh, but what is here right now, uh, uh, as we were talking about at the top of the show, I did want to kind of touch base and just, uh, and just talk about before the storm, the new novel by Christy golden. Uh, and, uh, for that, uh, yeah! sure. Sure. It's actually, it's actually really good. I, I like it. I'm not saying that I wouldn't like it. I mean, it, you know, I'm a fan already. So we all know you hate books and reading literature. <sighs> That's true. That is true. That is true. Uh, Gizmo, are you reading or listening to this book? Not yet. I Not plan yet. on uh, listening to it on Audible. Okay. Um, I I love the the narrations that they uh, have done. I think the last one I did was Tides of War. Actually, was that the most recent book to this? I th- yes. I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know who it's uh, be- read by on, on Audible is uh, King Anduin. Mm-hmm. Or Manduin, as we sometimes call him. <laughs> So, uh, man, and he actually has a very good goblin voice. I love his goblin voice. It's really good. It is. I think he should do goblins instead. He should. He should. It's really, really good. Uh, and you know, Christy Golden, she actually put out this, uh, this article on, um, why you should read the book or, or how this book helps set the stage for, uh, battle for Azeroth. And, and, uh, it, it is kind of cool because, we do get to to um, read or hear about um, and get these deeper connections to the characters, to the story, to the, you know the lore set up and all that kind of stuff, and go on this on this journey kind of around Azeroth because the whole uh, first half of the book I'm only halfway through, uh, so on this first half of the book we're traveling all over the place. We're traveling to Darnassus. We're traveling to. Uh, to uh, uh, Stormwind and Orgrimmar and uh, all all sorts of places. So I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's crazy. Uh, and Thist, you're ahead of me. I what, am. What what do you think? What what um, where are you at on the book? I'm like uh, chapter twenty four, okay. I believe. All right. Um, and I am loving it so much. I don't want to say anything about it because I certainly don't want to spoil it. But I don't know. It's just it's. I can. I'm starting to see how this is going to set up for the expansion, and uh, I just I love pre-expansion stuff because I love going in like knowing what my purpose is and like how I feel and and what my character would feel and what she has to do going into this, which is a whole another like it's a whole other layer of immersion, right? 
um, which I think is really helpful, especially at the beginning of an expansion, because it, you know, not only do you have this great new content to play through and all these new things to experience, but like, you've been able to like, sort of like, I don't know, pretend that you're your character and you know all this stuff is coming and like, what if your character is sitting in Orgrimmar or something, hearing about all the things that you're reading about in the book? And it, I don't know, it's just, it's it's a cool little, it's a it's a cool way to RP without RPing, you know? Sure. If that makes sense. Yep. No, yep. It, it My does. character is sitting in the Goldshire uh, Tavern. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Here's oh, about man. all this news. Is and then on, he is, is, it on, on is it on an RP server? <laughs> yeah, you want Moon Guard Giz? Maybe. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Look yeah, out! I had to walk outside to finish because there was too much noise upstairs in the end oh, there. Yeah. Wow! People whispering at you with their right. Skype info. Oh Stuff. boy! Oh boy! Uh, creepy. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, so, a couple of things that I liked about this book so far, um, and again, I'm only like halfway through. I really do kind of appreciate that we get inside the minds of the leaders of the of the different factions. So we've got uh, we really get into inside the mind of uh, of Anduin for sure, and it's kind of interesting hearing it in Anduin's voice that he's talking as Anduin, and it's really Anduin, and you're like, "Whoa, that's freaky!" <laughs> uh, Inception. Yeah, it's Andu Anduception. I don't know. And then, uh, but he, but we also get inside the inside the head of Sylvanas a little bit, and and although that mind is at least in the first half of the book, it's a little bit tougher to actually get inside that inside her head and and really try to figure out where she's going with this stuff. We know what she's doing, but we're not sure exactly what she's really thinking about. Uh, yeah, I'm. Go ahead. I'm looking for some resolution on that, but you're right. It's. I don't know. This is the kind of insight that we probably wouldn't get otherwise. You know, she is the dark lady, so I'm I'm guessing it would be kind of tough anyway. Uh, the other thing that I really kind of like about it is that we're getting more into the Forsaken Society, and we're talking, uh, we're seeing more of these characters, especially as like Anduin goes to the uh, priest class hall and sees everybody getting to get along together from both factions, including Forsaken, and talks to some Forsaken guys. And kind of gets more insight into that realm because I think the Alliance conception of uh, of what the Forsaken are is a misconception. So definitely. So there's a lot of prejudice yes. against the Forsaken. Right. Right. So uh, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of digging it so far. No spoilers. It's great. I love it. Don't spoil it for me. I won't. All right. Nobody <laughs> out there spoil it for me. Yeah, don't you dare. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's just, it's just really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> all right. I think that's all the things for World of Warcraft. Like I said, we had a lot of World of Warcraft to talk about. It's been a couple of weeks, but really, a lot of the action has happened in the last week. So, yeah. so there. Wow. Wow. Uh, so, next, we'll talk more about World of Warcraft, but we'll do it in Heroes of the Storm. Turned up to eleven. Yeah. So, uh, so Gizmo. Yes. Uh, we have Echoes of Alterac, and that's live now, right? Yes. So, uh, it actually, this event, it's it's I guess it is an event. Uh, went live last week, but we didn't get everything, all the content that they had uh, teased for it. So last week we just got uh, Urel. And the quest line stuff that we could do, the Hoarder Alliance. And then this week, yeah. uh, Alterac Pass, uh, which is the Alterac, it's Alterac Valley. Yeah. Uh, Map has entered the every mode except for ranked mode. Uh, it'll be going cool. into the ranked rotation next season, which I believe is July 11th or 12th, something like that. But uh, it's, it's really neat, as well as the skins, those incredible. They are pretty cool. Skins. They are pretty um, cool. So good. Yeah. It's it, they're really good, uh, but they're kind of expensive. Uh, but those are going to be here forever, uh, so you can get those from normal loot chests. Oh, good. Uh, you can craft them now, or if you wait for, I believe it's two weeks, the uh, shard prices uh, for crafting those will go down. Awesome. So if you want them now, you can get them, uh, but you can also wait. Um, but overall, it's really good. I actually haven't played Alterac Pass since it's been on live servers uh, today. Uh, just because I've been doing ranked and it's on that rotation. 
So I don't know uh, exactly if they made any balance tweaks to it. It felt pretty good on PTR when I was playing it uh, while I was there. Um, but overall, the map is incredible. It'll easily be in my top uh, favorite maps to play. Just the flavor of everything, uh, the Horde versus the Alliance. Uh, have, have either of you got a chance to check any of that stuff out? Fist. No. I I haven't yet because I've been uh, I've been uh, not only was I sick but then I was also on PTR and and hanging out in beta and stuff like that so I haven't yet but th this is kind of one of those things uh, Alterac Valley is is a really good nostalgic battleground for me mm -hmm. and I love this entire idea I've loved the setup I love the skins I love like everything about it I don't play Hots enough. Yeah. Uh, to to uh, just fully just dive in this week, but um, I I would love to. It's yeah, it's, it's on too. my list. That's for sure. And I I would say for anyone out there who maybe hasn't tried Hots for whatever reason, uh, whether you just haven't done PvP stuff much or you've never played a MOBA, but you remember All Track Valley and playing that, hop in there to to play it, even if it's just on. Uh, AI or a, a custom with AI to play that that map specifically because it really it takes you back uh, the sound effects and stuff that Aww. are in there. It's, it's really neat and who knows maybe you'll enjoy Hots uh, maybe you'll hate it and delete it as soon as you play it but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably not I wouldn't think <laughs> so not. I wouldn't yeah. think so uh, I wouldn't think but it's MOBAs aren't for everybody they're not for everyone. Right, and wasn't there a video that was uh, brought by uh, Novel? Uh, he he put out a video uh, the last week or two talking about the the history of Alterac Valley as a lead up to Alterac Pass being available on in Heroes of the Storm. So he put together this video that goes through the entire the entire history of that and and about how the Storm Pike and the uh, the Frostwolf Clan. Um, get there and what they do and and how they interact and all that kind of cool. stuff. So it's pretty neat and it's and it's I think it's like a fifteen minute video or something like that, fifteen twenty minutes, and it's all about the history of that stuff. And and that was something that Blizzard wanted Novel to put together, which is great. They actually yeah. they actually uh, sponsored it. Oh wow, which I thought was really cool. So I don't know. Very neat. Yeah, it was really it's it was legit. Really, yeah, it was totally legit. Uh, along with uh, Echoes of Alterac, uh, Alterac uh, we also have Urel, who is live right now, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, she's been live uh, as of last week. Um, opinions are still kind of out on her. She did get a slight buff from the PTR okay. uh, to her Q, which is her AoE damage and heal, uh, as well as her auto attack. Um but I, I don't know if, if that's enough yet. She still hits like a pillow and still seems like it's too easy to um, interrupt her abilities because you have to charge them all for one and a half seconds. Okay. Uh, and she doesn't have a big hitbox, so it's easy to just walk past her whenever she dives into your team. So words, we don't know yet if she's going to be uh, viable for competitive or HGC. I've seen her in a few games in Hero League, and it hasn't worked out so well. Mm. Okay. All right. So I'm sure we might see some tweaks and stuff coming there. Uh, but as far as we know, this is uh, all the, the content and stuff that's going to drop for this event. And then this event will uh, run up through the first or second week of July okay. uh, to get the quests done. Uh, if you do the quest, Horde Alliance, I think you can get some portraits, banner, uh, Alliance, you can get a Ram mount, Horde, you get a Wolf mount. Ooh, um, awesome. And you'll also get a, for the first part of the quest, a war Warcraft chest that guarantees a Warcraft hero. <gasps> Ooh, yay! Ooh. I like mm -hmm. that. I like that. I'm yeah, gonna I have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, Guaranteed. Yeah, Guaranteed. I, like that. I like that. Yes. Uh, let's see. Anything else happening uh, in Hots? Um, not too much as far as news. They have kind of uh, put out this article here as far as abusive chat penalties. Oh, that's right. Yeah. System. Um, and they are going to be stepping up the penalties. So what it's been currently is if you get uh, reported for abusive chat or whatever, you'll just get a silence. And if you have that silence, you can't play ranked. You have to play a couple games. I think it might be two, one or three games. Um, 
in quick match where you cannot talk to anybody. Uh, you can only talk to people if you're in a party with them or if somebody talks to you first, I believe. Okay. Um, so, and, and they've just, oh, you got in trouble again? Well, you're silenced again, but this time for longer. So what they're going to be doing is stepping up the uh, penalties for repeat offenders, which is great and something I'm surprised they didn't have in in the first place. Uh, so now if you keep doing it after you've been silenced, you may get uh, account suspension. If you keep doing it, you may get a permanent ban. Which, wow. Nice. Um, but they also... It's, it's kind of about time, right? It, it really is. Yeah. Um, and again, it's something I'm kind of surprised they haven't had in since the beginning. Right. Um, but they talked about the systems of which they do this because, you know, some players being concerned, they may be penalized after being falsely reported for abusive chat or abusive voice. Uh, so this is how they handle the situations. Abusive chat or spam reports are ignored if they are issued against a player who hasn't participated in in-game chat or public chat channels. And then same thing uh, with voice. Uh, if they're issued against you, uh, the system will know if you have actually used voice chat or not. What worries me a little bit about that is I always assumed these type of systems, if you had multi -repo uh, multiple reports, it flagged an instance, maybe pulled up a log of like uh, that time. So there was something that could look through it, see what words are said, if there's anything in their system that they have flagged. Bam, there it goes. But with the voice and stuff, I'm not sure how they would do that. And it doesn't sound like they do that in the chat logs. And for instance, today uh, in Hero League, I was playing and somebody asked me in chat, why isn't you know he with us? Where, where is he? Yeah. Uh -oh. I oh, we, okay, was, we lost we lost this all right thought it was, um and i just responded in voice because i didn't want to type i'm just soaking lane before i rotate up because we're down in talent tier and then somebody instantly said voice chat reported it's like what so in these instances what? had multiple people reported me would i have gotten a, a ban for that because i was using voice chat and i had multiple people report me even though i didn't do anything so huh. i have some concerns with that i don't think it'll really be an issue uh, but we'll kind of have to see if that becomes a thing, and then if so, if they'll expand on their system. Right, right. It's good that they're they're taking steps, though. Yeah, and uh, and we lost this there for a second. Hopefully, she'll come back in here uh, soon. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Uh, mm -hmm. But until then, I also kind of want to touch base with you real quick because, um, and I know that we're going to be talking about it uh, tomorrow as I record uh, BattleNet Sports with with all the with everybody there. Um, but uh, mid-season brawl was uh, the last couple of weeks, and yeah. pretty stunning, right? It's it's incredible, and I won't go too in depth uh, for it for the people that want to listen to the Belmont Sports. But the the things I took away from this tournament, yeah, uh, all three regions, yep. are taking games from each other now. So you know, you, they're North America, Europe, and Korea are yep. all taking game, not only games. That series off each other, right. um, which is fantastic. That's the first time this has happened. You know, NA has kind of been on the the butt end of the NA lull joke, and while we're still not there yet, we've made a ton of progress. Um, and then the the finals of this tournament are the best finals I've ever seen. It features the best game I've ever seen in Hots um, since Hots has been in esports. So, if you enjoy good esports, uh, if if you haven't watched hots but have been intrigued yeah uh, i would say definitely go back and watch the final series it went all seven games yeah uh, actually just six games but um check out game it would be their game five or six if there's a vod i don't know how they number them since there's only actually six games in a seven game series but <laughs> sure incredible. well and and it's, it was really cool and it was good to see that north korea represented uh very mm -hmm. well because they they previously hadn't uh hadn't won the mid mid uh, season brawl and and so it's this big huge thing it's yeah it's kind of like uh and i'm gonna put this into real sports terms it's kind of like mexico winning this last weekend for the for the world cup in soccer it was it's just kind of like oh yes they did it you know it's yeah kind of, well, soccer it was an upset but it wasn't an upset it was just, yeah it was fun it was cool. Korea's the Korea has been the powerhouse in hot since it was a thing. They, there's right. been some tournaments they haven't won, but yeah, it, right. it was great. And oh. uh, Jin G we went on prior to their loss. Uh, first loss in the final series was 38 and zero. Right. And then coming back and almost losing the thing, but being able to pull it out to probably 
the best and gutsiest core call I have ever seen. Uh, and it ended up working out for him. And cool. it was good to see them win it and uh, Rich win it. Rich is incredible, probably the greatest player in Heroes of the Storm in the world. So Ooh. awesome. It, it, awesome. Jay BlizzCon. And we had a and we had a, a yet another. Th- by the way, Fist, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we also had another big esports thing, and I know that we're going to talk more about it tomorrow uh, on the on the Battle Night Sports. But uh, I did kind of want to mention it here. Uh, we had Overwatch League. We had the season uh, regular season wrapped up with Stage Four uh, playoffs and and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Fist. Uh, did you have any any uh, specific impressions of of what was going on? I thought it was I thought it was a really great playoff uh, day overall. It was it was intense. All of the games they went to five games each time, and mm-hmm. so I don't think we could ask for more as fans. No, it was the, some of the most exciting matches I've ever seen, and. You know, I was worried for Dallas, but they really, really tried. Like, they gave it their all. It was great gameplay. And, like, of course, the battle for Los Angeles was insanely exciting. And, you know, of course, my Glads didn't win. But uh, the gameplay, like, it was just... It was it was evident that all of the teams were trying as hard as they could, and that was so exciting to watch. And it, it was the perfect end to this stage in my opinion. Yeah. And I'm glad that, you know, I'm not glad that NYXL didn't win, but I also am because they always do, you know? Right. Even though I was hoping I, that the Glads would win, but, you know, I was I was Fine. happy that the uh, XL did not win as well. So, you know, yeah. I just wanted something we, different. We know they're going to take the Grand Finals, so, yeah. yeah. But, it was, but it was really great. And the Grand Finals are next month, so, uh, right? Yeah, next month. Yes. So yes, after the playoffs. So that will be great, and uh, and so we'll. That's the next thing for Overwatch, and of course you can catch more uh, tomorrow with Battle.net Sports. We'll be able to kind of wrap all that stuff up as well. But the MDI LAN is this weekend, so make sure everybody turn in for that because it's going to be amazing. It will be amazing. It will be. It will be uh, guaranteed. And, and just a quick note. Uh, Diablo three news, and I do I have? Oh, there we go. Which doctor? This doctor. There we go. Uh, season 14 is now live. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, uh, we do have the the one cool thing uh, is that they're now starting uh, seasonal themes. And so for season 14, it's the season of greed, which means double uh, goblins, yeah. double, double treasure goblins. That's the bit. That's really the big thing. And then they have all the new loot and all the new uh, stuff that go- that goes along with it and and uh, rotating would, and different stuff. There, there really uh, wasn't much loot, if any, uh, added this season, I don't believe, because I think some people were kind of upset about it. Okay. Because um, they're doing these themes instead. There's new cosmetic items. Yeah. Of course, they yeah, yeah. add for those. Right. Uh, but it it's pretty cool. Like, if you are into D3 and into, like, collecting stuff, um, I've already come across, you know, two menagerie goblins that spawn two of them. So I've gotten four pets. Great. Awesome. Um, so it, it's a good season to get in uh, and grind. And it's also quicker for that loot grind. So if you don't want to spend as much time, you just want to check it out. Sold. Cool. Do, uh, do so. Yeah. Awesome. Diablo is always fun. It's always a good mm-hmm. time. And uh, uh, double the treasure. Double the fun. Who doesn't like loot, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything else that's uh, that's going on in Blizzard games here, folks? I they're really fun. Uh, they are fun. They are fun. But I'm gonna play this music, and we're gonna get the get the H out of here because I'm coughing up a storm. Ew. Nobody likes that. Uh, so why don't you guys tell us how people can find you and uh, and what you're up to, Gizmo? I'll start with you. What's on What's on uh, Lords of the Storm tomorrow? Oh, Lords of the Storm tomorrow. We will be talking very in-depth into the mid-season brawl, uh, as well as uh, Alterac Pass. Yes, I keep wanting to call it Alterac Valley. I'm just going to call it Alterac Valley anyway. Just do, do, it, it. do it. Yeah, who cares? Uh, as it's entered, uh, that'll be at twitch.tv slash Lords of the Storm at 9 p.m. Central Wednesday night. Uh, and then if you guys want to check out uh, my stream, be streaming most of the heroes, some variety stuff, but that's twitch.tv slash Gizmozord, as well as on Twitter. Awesome. Uh, Fist, how about you? Hi. Hi. Uh, what are What's you, the question? What, what are you What are you doing? Uh, are you doing anything fun this week? And where can people find you? 
Also, oh, sure. I, I do a podcast called Lagging Balls, and you can find that at laggingballs.com. It's real great. It's good. Um, you might like it. Yeah. Uh, I also do some stuff with you. Yeah. I'm all excited to do the Battlenet Sports Show tomorrow. That's going to be fun, too. That will be fun. Yeah, but yeah. otherwise, you can find me at this 3 on Twitter. Right. Uh, and pretty much everywhere. And everywhere. Just, just like I am uh, uh, on in all social circles. No, I don't know about that. I am Pat Crane, uh, and that is Crane with a K. Uh, so you can check us out all over the place over there and uh, more. Uh, so I'm going to bail on that, and I'm going to start this up. There we go. Uh, please join in on the conversation anytime. We do, uh, you know, if you have a favorite uh, time-walking raid boss or a bit that we've done in the past that you would like to hear, let us know. That's the that's the one for this week. If you if you need a reason to contact us, just tell us what what uh, what you think. Uh, and you can join the Bazooba Gobba Nation by heading over to convertterade.com. That's where we have everything now. As I cough again, uh, we have show oh. downloads, Discord info, videos, audios, all that all that kind of stuff, all over at convertterade.com. Uh, and then we also have the Convert to Raid podcast network, starring these two guys. And uh, all of the regular players on the sh- on the show, and over at Battlenet uh, Sports as well. Uh, Convert to Raid is produced and distributed by Signals Media. I'm gonna cough again. It's a very dry cough. I'm just glad that I have a cough button, Excellent so I don't, cough. so you don't have to hear it all the time. Uh, but that is going gonna do it for the show. Fist Gizmo, uh, thank you for joining us here tonight. You're Chat welcome. room, always a pleasure. And for those guys that are abroad in the world of Warcraft and beyond, uh, thank you for your patronage. I don't know. That sounded like a thing. Maybe it is. Maybe uh, it it's. almost was. It almost was. So uh, but, close. But thank you guys for, for picking us up. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, hopefully I'll be done with this cold. Hold on. <laughs> 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 mm. I couldn't reach the cough button in time. Uh, that's going to be it for the show. So thank you guys. And we will see you next time. Hopefully, you guys had a good time. Did you have a good time? You had a good time. I think so. I had a great time. Well, Pat, that's great. Ask me how good that show was. What's that? Ask me how good the show was. How good was the show? It was good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, until next time, everybody. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Hey, Pat, can I I talk to you about something? Uh, Sure. What's up? You know what? You came into my life. And my world never looks so bright. It's true, you bring out the best of me when you are around. When you are around. Oh, things just keep getting better. Are you something right now? Yeah, so um, I found out that both Pat and I were big fans of the uh, Queer Eye reboot. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Let's nominate I'm Giz. Watching. I've been watching uh, Ash vs. Evil Gizmo. Actually, yes, uh. Uh, Gizmo, You maybe you should be on the show. Although yeah. you do know about beard oil, so I'm guessing that uh, you're a step up. I got, I got the beard braids in today. Those look really nice, by the way. Thank you. I really is, like those. Is that to, um, to uh, like, I don't know, pay tribute to your your dwarf character in-game? Mm-hmm. Uh, is that exactly what it looks like Sweet. in-game, too? That's pretty nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's pretty great. I like it. <laughs> I need some beard beads so I can go full. See, initially, whenever I had long hair, yeah, uh, I was really tempted because I, I love the show Vikings. Oh yeah, uh, and I, I was really tempted to get like the undercut, yeah, uh, with the beard and like go full Ragnar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh man, have, like, man, his, red, his long hair, his piercing blue eyes. They're so blue. They are like, so blue. <laughs> And I didn't see that same stuff when he was playing, uh, was it Lothar? In, I mean, uh, they Warcraft? were blue. I think it's with the way, like, uh, Vikings is just shot as well to look really dark and kind of grimy. And then his eyes are so pure and blue. They are. They're just so blue. I could, I could lose a week in his eyes, you know, mm-hmm. just like, just like stare into them for a week solid. Yep. Such solid, dreamy, huh? Such dreamy eyes. Those dreamy, dreamy eyes. You guys are so cute. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>